Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome to my 24th Python 3 tutorial. Uh, so today I'm again going to be dealing with file input and output, and um, this tutorial is going to be a little bit shorter, uh, but it's going to show you kind of a cleaner and easier way to open um, text files in Python, or file objects, sorry, in Python, and then uh, make sure to make sure that you close it every single time. And so first, let's create a um, program that writes a string to a file and um, I'm just going to be using the same thing that I did in the last tutorial um, and if you didn't see that one you can go ahead and just copy this down real quick um, and in my last tutorial I explained these escape sequences here at the end of the line so if you didn't catch that I would recommend going to that one so let's run the file or the program sorry and then um, now <clears throat> instead of opening the file opening the uh, text file as like this so you know this open file equals open um, uh, what was it file methods sorry dot txt and then in writing mode now you have it open um, there's actually another way to do this because in the when you open it like this you have to make sure to explicitly close it every time and sometimes you might forget to do that um, so an easier way you can actually do that is you use what's called a um, with as statement and the way that this is going to look is like this so with um, and then you use this open function so with open and you put this exactly the same as you did um, you do normally when you create a file object um, as and then your your file object name and pretty much what this does is this will open uh, this will create a file object as whatever um, variable you put here uh, or object name so I can open it as in file if I want and this is exactly this statement right here is works exactly the same as this one up here um, and so now you, and then you put a colon at the end and then now uh, whatever you have next is inside of this block of code this with statement uh, starts the block of code and the benefit of doing this is that once you exit the block um, Python automatically closes the file for you you don't have to explicitly do it even if there's some sort of error in your code um, and it you know sh exits the program or something like that Python will still uh, <clears throat> it'll still close the file um, whereas before if there was some sort of error it wouldn't necessarily close the file um, and it would leave it open so this way you can guarantee that it's closed um, and I can still use the same thing so I can do something like um, uh, well we can just do you know file that read right now um, pretty simple uh, we'll, we'll print file that read and then that's it and oh shoot sorry I um sorry that's supposed to be in file and that was my problem okay now if I do this it'll work and you can see um that it ran this and now if I go um, there's actually a if I do in file that close um, sorry in file that closed jeez in file that closed uh, this is this is a variable stored inside file objects that can tell you if it's closed or not, and um, you can see that Python automatically closed my uh, my file object or the text file, uh, which is um, and I didn't actually have to explicitly tell Python to do it. Now with this uh, with statement, there's actually another way you can read uh, read lines pretty easily, um, and the way that you can do that is oh shoot let me do something first. Um, I'm going to create um, just a, a variable called lines and set it equal to zero. And then I'm going to go ahead and open this up again, this uh, using the with as statement to open the file object. And then um, pretty much what you do is for line in in file. So for each line uh, in the in file you can um, if you want you can add so you can go lines plus or equal to one and then you can print um, the line 
And so if you run this, you can see it prints all the lines, and then you can, um, you know, you can see there this lines variable now contains four. Um, and so with the other one, it didn't add, you couldn't have a variable to see how many lines there were. And so this way you can do that. And pretty much the reason why this works is whenever you ask for some sort of value um, in, in a file object, um, Python will give you a line because the file objects act as iterators, um, which, means, which means that whenever you ask for a value, it will return a line um, until there are no, mo no more lines left, and then it will exit this for loop. Um, so that's all I've got for this tutorial. I uh, just wanted to show you guys the with as statement, which is an easier way to open file objects um, because it allows you to exit out of the program without explicitly closing it. And then you can also um, do cool stuff like down here. Um, well, you can actually do this, you know, right when you open it, but this is a lot, it's easier because you don't have to worry about closing it. Um, and so that's, uh, yep, that's all I got th for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.